hello everyone so today I am going to implement this uh, revolver so as you can see uh, we have uh, instead of the rifle we had before now we have a revolver so I'm going to uh, see how to integrate the same uh, uh, how to integrate the revolver with the same animation system we have so initially I'm gonna try this with uh, uh, with some dynamic uh, like IK based systems and transform modify bone based system to adapt the same existing set of animations to the revolver and then I'm going to try with a different set of animations especially made for the revolver and see which approach will work right so let's see how to do those things today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support okay so I have this um, this revolver so let me open it and show you guys what I have right this is the revolver weapon and here I also have some animations reloading and shooting so you can see this uh, revolver this uh, this part rotates as well right now let's create a gun using this revolver mesh so in the guns I will create a blueprint class by extending the VP gun let's call it gun revolver now here as the mesh I'm going to change this to revolver okay and now my friend who worked on this uh, revolver gave me this translation offset for the translation and rotation in order to properly match it with the uh, web hand socket so I'm gonna give these offsets to the mesh if you don't know you can always use trial and error to figure out what is the exact value you need right these are the values mm, then okay let's try assigning this weapon to the player instead of pp gun here i have gun ak let's use revolver and see what happens so it's like this the animation doesn't exactly match we will work on it in a second uh, but before that let me add all the required uh, sockets to this skeletal mesh so we need um, two sockets actually not two three bullets out this is where the shell of the bullet will be ejected and the left hand socket this is where the left hand should come if we implement a IK based system and the nozzle let's first add the nozzle Add socket 
name it as nozzle move it to the here right I think it's correct okay and we need bullet out location another socket bullet out let's add it somewhere over here uh, where does it actually shell go in a weapon like this I'm not sure let's just assume somewhere like this so player will see uh, see that right also we need the left hand location but For now, I'll keep it like this. I'm not sure where it should be yet. We can always come back and change it later. Right now, let's go here and shoot. Okay, it still uses the properties of the machine gun, but I think here rotation is not correct. Yeah, actually here it should be minus 70 okay now it looks fine uh, but <laughs> still not fine it still uses the same animation as the rifle AK-47 and also it shoots like a machine gun okay right first let's change the properties of the gun mm. If I go to the parent class uh, here under fire, now we have uh, total ammo count, load ammo, loaded ammo count, magazine capacity. Right. First thing I need to change is uh, uh, this is not a machine gun, so therefore we should we should not uh, keep shooting if i hold down the fire key so how do we do that right simply we have to uh, prevent this loop this one let me add another one To make it more clean right here I'll add a branch and define this promote this to a variable I'll call it automatic if this is automatic this will be uh, if I keep the left mouse button pressed uh, the play will keep shooting the gun will keep shooting by default this is true now for the revolver I'll come here oh wait <coughs> I'll define a category oh maybe not needed because this is everything is related to gun properties here I'll say oh it is already set to false let me check what happened to AK this should be true yeah okay gun revolver yeah this should be false for the revolver now let's see see I am keeping the left mouse button pressed but still the player is not keep shooting it should only once right 
so let me quickly change this back to ak and see if the player keep shooting yeah this is working as intended all right that's one problem the next problem is obviously we have to override the gun sounds etc sound and muscle flash but before that there are more important things for example the animation now let's see if we can quickly fix the left hand location how oh. right earlier we had implemented a system to keep the left hand using this two bone IK where I force the left hand to move to the location actually the handle bone to the location that is defined by this left hand socket and I disconnected it before because I used uh, proper animations that uh, matches the rifle I was using so I didn't need that but now looks like I'm gonna need it back so let me duplicate this part and also I am playing animations such as reload animation as well in the upper body so therefore uh, if I do this after adding upper body animations the reload animation will not sense will not play properly because mm, right so to support playing the animations that play upper body without interfering with this two bone IK modification let's add this after the base pose before adding the upper body so it should be like this okay hope that explanation is clear now let's see how this looks Okay, uh, is it working? Um, let's change the gun to revolver so we should be able to see that. Uh, I don't think it is working. yeah why not oh wait I think this part should come not here but it should be a part of base pose so it should come here Let's check now. Yeah, now you see the left hand is holding the uh, revolver, but the animation is wrong. But of course, we have to fix that. Oh, again, my mouse right click has a problem. Okay, so how do we fix this animation? Well, actually, we will have to use a different blend space here for the pistol uh, right so what if we define another two one IK to pull the right hand forward so that it would match the animation for a gun shooting revolver shooting 
uh, animation so that means uh, here the right hand is too closer to the body because of that uh, it doesn't match the revolver and because of that the revolver's left hand location is also closer to the right hand this hand goes through the body okay so let me duplicate this two bone IK and uh, connect like this here uh, what if I use instead of hand L let's use hand R right oh now we can looks like we can use the same approach oh, what is this right this is the target oh, sorry this is the effect this is the target target should be somewhere like this I think yeah and also this uh, effect location should be in the parent bonus space so as the effect target I'll set lower huh? compile this is the effect let me place it in a location like let me look at this in the top view oh, somewhere like this in the right view like this okay and uh, this is and the joint target also I'll set it to parent bone space as the parent bone I'll use the same lower arm R compile this should be in a location like this right now shall we see how it looks it's not perfect but it actually looks better than before we can use the same system to adjust uh, we will have to move this down a bit yeah better actually And the left hand is a problem. It the bend doesn't look natural. What's wrong? Let's check the target location of that. Alright, it's here. Maybe let's move it down. And also let's set it to parent bone space. As the parent bone, I'll set lower arm. L. fine now let's see okay it looks all right but the next problem we have is the wrist rotation we need to change that as well how to do that other than that this same offset is also working fine 
Everything is good. But it would be better if we have a different animation set. Uh, but until I get animation set, I need to s uh, explore how can I solve this particular problem with uh, in a procedural way. So that's why I'm doing this. This is more like a research. I know it takes time, but I want to see what we can do with in a do in a approach like this okay so how to set the rotation of the left hand so here mm, okay um what if we add another transform modifier Here I'm going to try modify the rotation of the handle. Rotation, let's say, add to existing. Right. So here, let's say, rotation Y. But if I make it nine, right? It rotates like this which is not perfect and x 30 not good y how about 60 not set 30 minus 30 x 30 minus 30 oh, actually we can hear rotate and see so this is the rotation I need for when the character holding a pistol this way okay 90 minus 90 45 minus 100 right so let's see how it looks now oh see the hand stays in the same rotation which is odd oh let's set it to parent no born space Again, make it zero. Right, let's see now. Somewhat fine, not perfect. So we get some vibration as well. But that's we can address that later. For now, okay. So for now, I'm gonna stop this episode right here. And uh, yeah, let's uh, continue to fix this situation with the rifle uh, with the pistol because this is not perfect. Um, I won't improve it but this is where I'm gonna stop this episode so okay thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download through the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye